It is a very colorful gathering of the Anyomas, with the Igbo-speaking peoples of Delta State in their large numbers, the Senator in Asaba. They're here to offer support to one of their own, the incumbent governor, whom they say has made them proud. The roll call of dignitaries from the People's Democratic Party's leadership is quite impressive, making it evident that the goodwill extends beyond the state. Whether there is security, hijab, or whatever, they are your people. They are subjects. God has placed you in a position to resolve their problems, to address their concerns, and be a father to all. I have not seen any party that want to contest against Rukua. If any party wants to contest, the party will come to Delta and tell Delta people, see what I've done for you people. That is why you should vote for the Nobisho. Former governors of the state are also throwing their weight behind Governor Okowa. For them, he has built on the legacies of the founding fathers of Delta State. The party's national chairman also seizes the opportunity to condemn the statement attributed to President Muhammadu Buhari in London about Nigerian youths, insisting that PDP remains the only hope for Nigeria. Our youth are resourceful, our youth are energetic, our youth are innovative, our youth are future leaders of tomorrow. Then the man of the moment must solicit the people's support in sustaining the peace that currently exists. We are a state of many ethnic nationalities. We are one people, connected by one cause, and by the special grace of God, we have made a statement by the electionary campaign and the votes that followed that we believe in one day and that we believe that we are one people of one state. With the incumbent governor set to fly the flag of the ruling party in the state, all eyes will probably be on the opposition or progressives congress to see whom they will put forward to challenge him for the highest office in Delta State. The 